Hey, this is Tim Tibbetts with MajorGeeks.com, and today we're going to take a quick look at Slim Drivers, an automated driver updating utility. Why would you need new drivers? It all depends on what you're doing. If you're a gamer, you always want to keep up on the latest video card, sound card drivers, and the same would probably apply if you do a lot of graphics, multimedia, uh, play a lot of videos, perhaps edit graphics, photography. It'd be nice to keep a lot of these drivers up to date. The nice thing about this utility is, like many of the utilities on Major Geeks, it's very, very simple to use. As you can see, I've already done a scan and I decided to leave a couple drivers out of date for the purpose of this tutorial. All you need to do is click the start scan here. It's very, very fast. I'm sure if I had printers and cameras hooked up, it might take a little bit longer. And here is your legend of what you have, your out of date or missing, ignored, up to date, and system device drivers. As you can see, I have a USB input device, that's probably my mouse. The AHCI controllers, you can see under storage controllers, are probably my motherboard drivers. Back in the day, this used to be a lot more complicated. Today, it's much more simple. People who have Hewlett Packard, Compact, Toshiba, gateway computers will find if they go to the website where they bought your computer they only update the drivers for a year or two and you really don't need their drivers most of the time you need either Intel drivers AMD drivers Nvidia uh, AMD the big brand names. so even though they don't show an updated driver for your five-year-old computer there probably is updated drivers and it, it could solve some problems if you're having any again I'm gonna scroll down a little bit more it's showing the system devices this is the USB everything it's showing in my case right now is just the motherboard drivers always start from the top and just do the download what's gonna happen here is it's gonna download in my case the Intel motherboard drivers and after I reboot all these other 15 are gonna be gone because they're all gonna be resolved with a single download uh, great little program I think you're gonna love it it's as simple as clicking on download update and go up at the top you can uninstall the program which is kinda neat most people hide their uninstall they're putting it right here for you uh, under your options yes I wanna leave thank you not a lot of options not much you need to do it's the run at Windows startup is disabled which I love I'm not a fan of that for with anything check for updates always a good idea backup which is great uh, it, and it gives you where you're gonna save save it to restore update so you can do it manually and schedule task again I'm not a big fan driver updates are not something you need to do on a daily weekly or really even monthly basis so I wouldn't use the scheduler, but it's a nice option. Under the restore, I like I got a kick out of this. It's basically got everything I already picked up, and you can restore from wherever you have saved it. Now under backup, which obviously you want to back up for your restore, it's the same thing. You can back up to and save it under any folder that you'd like to save it to. Under submit, this is where you can get a hold of them if you have any particular problems you want to complain to them about I don't know why and if you click the support button which I won't right now because it'll launch my web browser it will take you to their web page and give you the choice of forum email or chat for support and of course you can simply return home here anytime great little program you can't beat the price free and uh, I hope you give it a run and let us know how you like it and we'll see you next time thanks